Hello, I'm Jason Harrelson and today we are going to hold a big sale on a bunch of trades that we've received recently. Um, I am purchasing a new CNC turning center with milling capabilities and it's very expensive. So uh, my plan is to of course sell a bunch of extra horns to pay for some of the machine and the software is almost as much as the machine as well. So. You'll be seeing a lot of our trades go straight to eBay or our website, and I think we probably have about 15 or 20 trades right now that we'll be putting up over the next two to three weeks. Uh, the very first one we have here is a box Stradivarius, and this is a Model 43. It looks like a standard weight, and I will play that for you here in a few minutes. The next one is a modified box C trumpet. It's a 229 bell. This was modified by Ralph Schwartz, uh, who was the principal trumpet player in the Minneapolis Opera, or Minnesota Opera, and uh, a great trumpet player who's no longer with us. This is a medium large bore C trumpet that plays very wide open, uh, a very good horn, and we have some additional upgrade options on that. Uh, we have a Courtois Evolution. Um, which there is a story behind that, but another horn that uh, has an adjustable gap receiver, a double bell, you don't see these so often, it has a nice big broad sound, very efficient. The next is a cannonball trumpet, it appears to be brand new, I think that's how it was traded to us. Uh, this is one of their stone series, and it has some real nice stones in the finger buttons, and uh, here on the the third slide tube, and on a side note, Cannonball threatened to sue me several years ago for putting stone inlays in my horns, even though I had been doing it years before they were even around. Uh, I guess there's some irony there. And uh, here's a Bravura B flat. This is a Wheat Pipe 2 Bell 4. This one was built, let's see, where's the date? Uh, May 14th of 2009. A very wide open big horn. And the last one today is a Harrelson 909 trumpet. This one is no longer in production. The 909, uh, they ran around $6,000. Great horns, this one was finished in silver. It came back to me as a repair, and uh, eventually the customer traded it in for a new 909 because his daughter had damaged it so badly that um, I had to straighten out the bell, which had some evidence of repair. And then I had to build a new tuning slide using the original brace. So it's a great horn, and uh, if you're looking at saving a few thousand dollars on probably the last 909 I'll offer, uh, then this is your opportunity. Okay, next we have a Bravura B-flat trumpet. This was built in 2009. It's in very good shape. You know, I couldn't find any dents. There are super tiny dings here and there in the bell. And uh, it has the power shell inlays in the finger buttons. It's of course a used horn, so it has been played probably every day since it was made. Um, lead pipe 2, bell 4, and there are no details on the Venturi, but usually the Venturi on a number 2 lead pipe is 348, so it should play fairly open. has the old style receiver, and I'll play a few notes for you. Oh, it's got the heavy trim kit on it, heavy bottom kit. Overall, a very big sound, 
it takes a lot of air in the upper register. Um, I guess if you use a lot of air, then it could be a lead horn, but I would say probably good all-around horn that leans towards dark. 